continue to learn. Can anyone give me an example of a noun? Oh, I 
hear some voices. There are two major double dip. There are two major kinds of grasslands called savannas. Savannas are hot or warm all the time. Or in our classroom. Oh, Jackson. Temperate grasslands are really cold in the winter, like negative 40. Oh. Oh, they're so cold. Or they're really warm in the summer, like 100 degrees. So they have way extremes on both ends. But savannas are warm or hot all year round. <laughs> Usually, small, broad-leaved plants grow with the grasses. So the leaves are kind of big. Plants and grasses depend on how much rainfall a grassland gets and what the soil conditions are like. I want you to make sure that when you're saying the words, you're just doing a whisper. For the next one, we're just going to do a whisper voice. Okay? I hope I don't hear anyone talking like me. Or yelling! <laughs> it sounds like Brian. And can create big changes in a grassland. I know what a drought is. Droughts are when there's no water. Yeah. And or all the, the Jackson, all the plants are going to die if there's no water. If there's no water for the animals to drink, what are they going to do? What's going to happen to them? Uh, is this is what I think about. I see Hayden hey, making a face. He said, uh. <laughs> If they don't have water to drink, they're not going to survive. I know, I know. Eliana. I don't know how I can show
I see two people facing sideways. One person and two people. Okay. Violet, can you tell us something about a grassland using a one grassland of these? A grassland has a lot of grass. Oh, grassland has a lot of grass. Is grass a noun or an adjective? No. Is it a noun, a person, place, or thing? Yeah. Or is it an adjective? Yeah. A noun. A noun. Right, what habitat we're doing. How are you going to know what habitat we're even talking about? Look up there. Okay, who else has another sentence they'd like to share? Anna Pree. The grassland is dry. The grassland is dry. Is that... Describing the habitat, or is it something in the habitat? Describing something. I didn't hear you. It's an adjective. It's dryness. I love how you guys are using the sentences, Sebastian. Oh, gazelles. Are gazelles a person, place, or thing? Are they a noun? Are they a Oh, okay. You must have known that already because we didn't even talk about it. Who else has a sentence from legend? A grass that has tall grasses. Tall grasses, okay. Ooh, let's see. Are you going to go this is a tricky one, Legend. Is grass a person, place, or thing? Or is it describing? What do you think? It's a noun. It's a noun, but what is tall? It's a noun and an adjective. It's a noun and an adjective. You did one with both. I did, I did the first one with both. What if I do, I'll put it as an adjective, because we already have grass, and we can put all grass for yours. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. I see. A, a wetland has a lot of We'll do it wetlands. Wetlands. Are we looking at wetlands or grasslands? Okay, can you say it again? A lot of grass. Hmm. All right. Is grass a noun or an adjective? A noun. Is a lot a noun or an adjective? Adjective. Adjective. How should we write it? Both. A grass a
I think you guys have great ones, but I have a feeling you don't want to sit on the carpet for a long time. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we gotta keep going. Okay, remember, this time, when I say the word, you're gonna say it in an underwater voice. The bold word in an underwater voice. But not until we get to work. Animals can be in danger if there is a drought or a fire, but it could also be a bad Because they could be in danger. What if they can't escape the fire? They're trying to run away from it. This animal sees the fire way back here. It could probably get away for a minute if it started running right now. What if it can't get away from the fire? It will die. It will die. But guess what? Some of the animals or insects that die, like crickets. Do you think animals that eat crickets will be happy if they find a lot of dead crickets? Yeah. Yeah, because they have so much food to eat now. That is how... Raise your hand if what? they're not trapped. Because if they have crickets to eat, then they have food. If they escape the fire, but maybe those little crickets or grasshoppers didn't escape, they have lunch the next day, or whenever the fire's over. Joshua. Um, actually, I think most um, creatures that eat uh, crickets and grasshoppers and stuff like that alive actually eat um, them. Eliana, I'm videotaping you. You're being recorded. They, they might prefer them to be alive, but if there's nothing else to eat, like they would the eat the dead ones. The tarantula, my papa had one. He fed them my, he fed him my cricket. But they usually would eat them if they're dead too. If they're that hungry, they'll eat them anyways. But you're right, they would probably prefer it to be alive. Animals. Ooh, let's do very deep voice. No, underwater, just a very deep voice this time. Not yet. I hear some kids talking. Animals may experience overgrazing and clearing of the land. Poaching is, this picture is a little bit hard to see, but there are tusks, like from elephants, and sometimes these, these people will take the elephants, and sometimes they kill them, sometimes they leave them alive, and they'll take things like their skin, they take their skin, they'll kill them, but sometimes they take, they're not snakes, they might look like snakes because you can't see the picture, they're tusks. And they'll take the tests, and then they leave the animals. Do you think that's good for the animals? No. No. And it's not allowed. They do that, and it's not allowed. It's illegal. Overgrazing is when there's too many animals and there's not enough food for them. And clearing of the land for crops. They clear everything out. What do you think that means? They get rid of animals. Thanks for raising your hand, Joshua. They get rid of animal homes. They get rid of animal homes and anything in their way of where they want to put their crops. Ivy. My mom has um, a, a pond that they go in Who are you telling? Freedom. Tell a neighbor. What do you think all those animals have in common? They all live in the grassland. What do you think they have in common? They all live in the grassland. They all live in the grassland. They all live in the grassland. All right, are you?
you ready to see what they all have in common? Yes. I need everyone's yes. voices to be off. No. Eliana, Maya, are you ready? We'll see if you were right.
the pouch hat. So I want to hear serious ideas. Let's hear from Clara. The grass one has kangaroos. Kangaroos are kangaroos a noun or an adjective? Noun. Wow, thank you for everyone who is sitting so quietly while I write. Eli, I don't think I called on you yet. Can you use it in a sentence?
else has an idea, Sarah? Oh, kangaroo. Oh my gosh, you guys have so many animals. Boys and girls, what do you notice about all the animals that I'm drawing? Big and wide, animals run fast. 